Hello, Gilberto. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Gilberto. How are you doing? Uh, very good. Thank you for asking. Great. Rodrigo is here, but I think he's in traffic still. You said you work from home, right, Gilberto? Do you work from home? Uh, no understand, teacher. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rodrigo. Uh, no, I my question was, do you work from home? Or do you have an office that you have to go to? Uh, no. I work in the market and different markets. Uh, for example, Sonsonate. Uh, today I work in Santa Ana. Oh, really? Yes. So you travel around the country? Sí. Tomorrow uh, uh, I work in, in San Salvador. Ah, okay. And, and where where you live? Where do you live? Uh, I live in, in Ciudad Delgado. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay, so tomorrow you will not travel too much. Sí, no travel too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was in Santa Ana today too. Yes. I went to work as in Santa uh, Santa Ana. Uh, I sell spice, spices. You sell spices. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. In different markets. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I work at all option. Okay. In the in the west, the west. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andres, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. I'm sorry for those days, but I were very busy. Okay, I see. I was very busy, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now in my company, like it is, uh, I have to make part of the payroll for the security agent, so I have to make my reports. So for that, for those days that is near to the payment, oh, it's, yeah. too, it's too hard. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I know. That is a problem sometimes. Okay, we have, um, let's see, Danny. Hello, Danny. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Okay, let's see. Lady is here as well. Um, Maria Leticia, she's a listener. I see her. Suffering traffic. Rodrigo is suffering traffic. Um, let's see. Mr. Roberto Carlos is, is in traffic as well. Probably, well, I don't know. It's not payday yet. Tomorrow is payday. So I don't know why there is a lot of traffic today. <laughs> it's a mystery. Okay. Well, um, let's see. It's a o three. Okay. Well, everybody, welcome. This is our session number thirteen. Right. We're almost halfway. 
Well, we are halfway uh, into the module. Remember this module has five weeks. Um, so welcome everybody. And uh, as I said yesterday, well, yesterday, as you remember, we had a few minutes to prepare our conversations related to um, promotion, but we didn't have time to share, right? So today we're going to dedicate a, probably the first half an hour to share those conversations. Maybe I'll give you some time for you to like finish preparing or, or refreshing your mind about the conversations so that um, you can share uh, later with, with the class and using the vocabulary that we checked um, yesterday. Also, I will give you the list of vocabulary that we used just so you also remember uh, that part, okay? But before we do that, let me check attendance, see who is here. Second. Okay, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Ventura. Present teacher. Eh, let's see. Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Hello, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales, he's a listener right now. Maria Leticia Ralejeño Gonzalez. I see you there in the list, Leticia, as a listener, I think. Mauricio de Jesus Buruca Velasquez. Not here yet. Um, Rebeca Maria Cardona Juarez. Not here yet. Yeah. Are you there, Rebecca? No, right? I don't know who was speaking. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. Um, let's see, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga is not here yet. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, not here yet. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez, she is also working for um, the end of the month processes, right? Accountability. Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Mm, not here, right now, at least. Okay, so um, I'm going to I'm going to open the article that I shared yesterday, just so you can. Uh, well, I I'm going to list the topics that we were discussing, the concepts that was related to promotion, right? So let me see. Okay, let me share the screen. Okay, so these, these are a, the kinds of promotions, oops, sorry. These are the kinds of promotions that we were checking yesterday before we prepared our conversation. Let me see here. Okay, so we have uh, well, we checked advertising, public relations, sales promotion, 
personal selling, direct mail, eh, to be post or email, internet marketing, social media, sponsorship, and then there were these uh, strategies, the message strategy, like what message, message will the promotion convey? Um, then media strategy and how will promotion help deliver the message? And promotion through the product life cycle. Okay, so this is what we read and then we prepare the conversation, right? The task uh, was uh, to create a conversation where you are promoting a product. Okay, let me see here. Okay, let me remind you here of the task. Task, create a conversation where you have, where you are promoting a product and um, you are using a, a specific promotion strategies using the reading oops, the concepts in the reading as a basis. Okay, so this was the task. <clears throat> Create a conversation where you're promoting a product and you're using a specific promotion strategies, uh, using the concepts in the reading as a basis, okay? Now, um, let's see. Let me check if I remember who you were working with. So I can pair you up with the same people. Ah, Mr. Gilberto is ready. You finished. Yes, wow. Yes. <laughs> okay, now let me ask the rest. Did you finish also? Or you need a little bit of more time to? to... I need time, teacher. Okay, lady needs time. Okay, let's see. Um. Well, I'm going to just give everybody five minutes, okay? Five minutes to just check what you have from yesterday and then um, get ready, okay? So let me see. Um, okay, let, let's check here. Okay, um, we have Mr. Gilberto and Mr. Jose Israel, right? Then we have um, Danny and Gabriela, I think. But Gabriela was not here, is not here right now. Um, Okay, let, I'm going to pair you up with Jose Andres. He was not here yesterday, but you can, well, you can say, see what you were discussing with Gabriela and you can share, okay? Um, let's see, Lady, who was your partner, Lady? Was it Rodrigo? I think Yes, yes, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Okay, but Rodrigo right now is a listener, so... Um, let me see. Okay, we have Julio. Julio. Uh, okay, Jose Andres. Okay, let me see.
Um, I don't know if Mauricio is participating. Please let me know. Uh, yes, teacher. I, I ah, okay, great. So I'm going to um pair you up with Mauri with Julio. I don't remember who else was your partner, Julio. Was it um hey, teacher? It is Gabriela. Ah, Gabriela is your partner, okay. But Gabriela is done able. Uh, yes. Uh huh. So I I added Mauricio to your your so you can check, you can talk about what you were working with Gabriela and and share. Uh, how about Rolando? Are you participating? Yes, teacher. Um, yesterday I only listened, teacher. What about today? Yeah, today I I working. Okay, good. So I'm going to, since Rodrigo is is not is a listener right now, I'm going to, uh, have you, Rolando, join. Um. Wait, uh, what am I doing here? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Lady and Rolando. Okay. Okay. And I don't know. Let me see here. Uh, Andres, are you going to be able to work with Danny or are you still having connection issues? Andres? Yes, yeah. I'm sorry, teacher, I have some problems. But uh, with my reading, but I can listen to you. Oh. Okay, okay. So I'm going to have you join Danny just so he can share what he worked with. Um, I don't remember who was your partner, Danny. Was it Rebecca or Sofia? I think it was Sofia. Sophia. Sophia. Yeah, but Sofia is... is a listener today. Okay. okay, good. So we have five minutes to check because this is something we started yesterday, right? So just to refresh a little bit and get ready and then we, we share our conversations, okay? So I'll see you in five minutes here in the general class. Okay, I'm missing Danny in room two and I'm missing Israel in room one. And let's see. Yes. Andres, you're alone. Yes, teacher, I'm alone. Yes, I don't know what happened to Danny. Um, I think well, sometimes he has issues also with his device. So yes, teacher. I guess... But I can wait, teacher. I can wait here. So <laughs> I hope that he is connecting. <laughs> okay, I will. I will. I will check what's going on with him. Okay, and I'll send him. Okay. Okay, Danny, 
Did you have any problem to join the room? No, no me ha parecido el, el link, la opción para ingresar al... Ok. Um, let me see, let me see. Va, lo voy a mover y luego lo muevo acá. Ok, what about now? Ahora sí. ¿Te aparece la opción? Can you see the option now? No, me, me regresó aquí. Okay. Mm, let's see. No, no estuviste en clase. ¿Hola? No estuviste en clase. No, he was not here yesterday. Well, he was, right, but not participating. ¿Será mi internet o será el suyo? Le, yo le escucho, José Andrés. Ajá, yo también. No, pero se le se pierde la. Ajá. We can hear Hello. you. Yes. We can hear you. Uh -huh. Yes, just yes, teacher. So, I want to know what do you, what do you work yesterday? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Ajá, uh -huh, Danny, what was your product? Ah. Uh, and the product uh, we choose with the partner it is a uh, me acuerdo que producto de is a uh, uh, I don't know the uh, with Sofia no 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 recuerdo Okay, so choose a different one. You can choose a, a new one now with, with Andres. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'll leave you to agree on that. And then remember, we have five minutes. So see you later. Hi, Hello, how are you doing? Uh, we, uh, um, we will talk about uh, teacher personal, personalized custom teacher. Personalized what? Yeah, uh, teacher. 
no sé si llamarlo o uh, simplemente shirt camisa ah t-shirts okay. Okay, yes. okay ah okay good good yeah. Uh, okay. We made a conversation. In the conversation, uh, we don't identify the type of, of promising, the, but uh, the, the gun of the um, document, we identify the product and, and the type of promotion. In this case, um, and identify sales promotion. Let me see. Sales promotion. Uh, and personal selling. Uh, okay. okay. Great. You're almost ready, right? Very good. Mm, in uh, two minutes. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Okay. Hello, hello. How are we doing here? Hello, teacher. Tenemos como pregunta. Ajá. Este, a la hora de promocionar, por ejemplo, es que no sé si la conversación está bien, donde... Como prácticamente yo le estoy vendiendo un producto, por decirlo así, o le estoy intentando convencer. Uh -huh. okay. Estaría bien. Ajá. Yes, yes, let me see. Um, hi, Rolando, I'm fine. I want to know if you go to the gym. I don't, but I know many friends who go. Mm -hmm. It's the, I know a protein that is wonderful in terms of improving results in physical appearance. Yes, the, this protein includes, okay. Mm -hmm. Puede ser como esa idea y luego decirte que le puedo dar como este, muestras para que vaya como probando el sabor. ¿Así puede ir la idea? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that case, that's personal selling, right? Uh, you're using this strategy. Ah, ok. okay. Mm -hmm. Ro, este, Rodrigo ya no iría con nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque yo lo había puesto primero con Rodrigo. Y luego cambié el nombre por Rolando. Lo que pasa es que Rodrigo creo que está, bueno, según lo... lo el notificó, tráfico. Ajá. Ahorita no, no puede participar bien, digamos. Entonces, eh, sí, está bien. Solo dejémoslo así. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, we're going to start probably in two to three minutes. Uh -huh. So just letting you know, okay? ¿Cómo se pronuncia gramos, Miss? <laughs> grams. Grams. Okay. Mm -hmm. grams. And grams. here, when you a say theory. start a, a fitness life, al revés, fitness life. Fitness life. Mm -hmm. Aquí, fitness life. Uh -huh. Fitness ah. life. Ah, okay. Por eso le, veí, se le, apare, le aparecía ahí como marcado. Life. Fitness life. Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, sí. <ríe> Yo decía, ¿por qué? Hasta fui a buscar si estaba mal escrito fitness. <ríe> Ajá, lo que pasa es que ahora Google eh, hace eso. O sea, si hay alguna cuestión de, por ejemplo, un espacio extra... O, o el orden, así como en este caso, el orden de la palabra, entonces, de la, sí, de la, una frase, entonces lo, lo, lo marca. Ok. Ok, well, let's finish up and see you later, ok? Thank you. Uh -huh.
ahorita. Ajá, uh -huh. you were missing. How are how are you doing? You were ready, ready. Uh, más o menos. <laughs> Why I más really... o menos? Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, uh, Gilberto, uh, uh, Thought that the a good product to show and present to our um, compañeros. I don't remember the name, the word compañero right now. Is black pepper. It's good. It's a good product, and he's going to explain to all our classmates the features and benefits of the black pepper. Okay. And what kind of promotion is that? Gilberto. Yes, teacher. And when you do that, what what kind of promotion strategy is it? Remember the, strategy, the uh -huh. promotion teacher target market it is restaurant and supermarket. Aha. Uh -huh. But I'm trying to make you think of the vocabulary we checked in the article. Okay, so According, remember we had a list of promotion strategies, right? So when you yeah. do that, when you talk about the benefits and the features of the product, and in this case, well, you do it with mar people at the market, the market vendors and the supermarkets. What is, what is that kind of promotion? Well, if you let me explain just a little bit, because uh -huh. Alberto is going to explain the, the whole part. Mm -hmm. the, the feature and benefit about our product is how good the pepper black the black pepper is for your health. Mm -hmm. Because it has some characteristic that could help uh, a person in his daily intakes of antioxidant and inflammatory and, and inflammatory, I don't know, species. Of, it helped you it helped you to to control your blood sugar levels and also reduce the cholesterol okay and it's going to be related to if you um if you consume black pepper daily it's good for your health for your health okay mm -hmm. okay but again i want you to think of what kind of promotion are you using if you do that? Like when you explain the benefits and all that, what is the kind of promotion you are making for the product? For example, are you uh, are you doing personal selling? Are you doing advertising? Are oh. you doing social media? Or how? what's the name of that promotion strategy? I think holding one because we have to go door by door, do some advertisement, show them on Facebook, also on the radio and TV. And that is going to be our our way to 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 put our product on on the market. Okay. Okay. Good. Um I think well based on the on what i understand you do gilberto because it's that's your job right um yes you do personal selling right because you go to the vendors and you talk about the benefits of the your spices or is sí, that what you do in in my case i sell my uh, consumer in the market and, mm -hmm. and, and the offer, uh, the economics, the preference and con the client. Okay. Y the, y the other characters, uh, no, 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 the, the client, the, the, the characteristic it is antioxidants 
it is anti-inflammatory. No, no, the, the client no, no know the, the property, the characteristic of the product. Ah, okay, okay. So you mentioned the, the benefits because they probably don't know, right? No, yeah. all, the, all the price, price uh, uh, the consumer and uh, knows. Uh, okay. Lo único que quieren saber los clientes son los precios, ¿verdad? <laughs> the price, the, the, the products. You you are right. <laughs> it happens yes. to I I work in the in the well uh, I don't sell I personally don't sell but um I am part of the selling process many times and in this case our product is a uh, books or digital learning materials right learning resources. And yes, sometimes people only want to know the price. They don't care about how good the product is, right? <laughs> it's only about the price. So yes, you're right. Yes, and target market and, and social media and, and new products. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I see a promotional other product. Mm -hmm. uh, I like curcuma molida, no sé cómo, cómo se expresa, molido, pero sí están promoviendo ya en, en Rexo, en, ah, okay. en social media de otras especies, de spice. Yes, they, are, they were not common here in El, in El Salvador at least, right? Let me see. Ground, molido is ground. Ground. Solo la palabra ah. curcuma, no me acuerdo. Let me check. Uh, turmeric. Turmeric. So, turmeric. Ajá, uh -huh. turmeric. Con U. T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C. And if you want to say curcuma molida, then it is ground turmeric. Brown turmeric. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I client I declined the the business uh, in social media. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, but but uh, I go in the in the bros the businesses in social media. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave you and uh, we're going to go back to the main room, okay? Because it's time for you to share with everybody, okay? So I'll okay. see you there. Hello, hello, we are back. I think some of you are missing. Ah, there we are. Okay, well, uh, we are ready to share, right? Some of you. Um, so let me start with the ones that I, I know are ready here, okay? And we're gonna start with Gilberto and Israel. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if if Gilberto is going to start our presentation. Okay. Uh, Thank teacher, you. Uh, share the WhatsApp, the presentation. Ah, okay. Give me a second. One second. Okay, it's opening. Let me just just share the screen. Here we are. Yes. Okay. Good evening, partner. My colleague. Uh, Jose Israel and I, mm -hmm. the product black paper, uh, the new product black paper feature and benefits, feature and benefits. It is antioxidants, it is anti inflammatory, uh, control blood sugar levels, reduce the color cholesterol. Uh, the other character is it is the alkaloid substance papering that is responsible for the spice testing and stimulants the secretion of gastric wish. Uh, Israel. Okay, uh, good evening to everyone, teacher too. So our product is like my, my friend Gilberto said, is black pepper. In my hand, just give me a second because I have to change this. In my hand, I have our product is black pepper. This is our presentation. Okay, uh, wow. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Very realistic. <laughs> okay, exactly. So the benefits of the black pepper, like um, Gilberto said, that it help you to, it's a disinflammatory and it's antioxidant for your body. And the way how, how we are going to, to put our brand, brand into the market is going to be with advertisement and on Facebook, also Twitter. And we are thinking about go to the radio station and put some, some jingles about the pepper, 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 what? Pepper, black pepper. And also advertisement on TV. And okay. also, uh, because Gilberto has the, the experience, he knows how to manage uh, people to go to the supermarket and present our product to, to get more acceptation of the black pepper in our presentation, better than the presentation of McCormick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, um, I was... I was asking you uh, in the breakout room uh, about the promotion, right? And you mentioned that you do will do advertising uh, in different other types of media. But okay, something that I want you to pay attention to is like, okay, you have, you start talking about the product, like with the benefits, and uh, the price, then um, so when you do that, uh, basically what you are doing is a uh, well, either you are the agent, right? Remember uh, that was vocabulary related to distribution, but we can use it here too. So in this case, you are you are playing the role of an agent. Um, or also if you sell it directly to the consumers, in that case, you are doing direct distribution. Um, and uh, if you start like talking about the benefits and everything to, to a particular person, 
uh, who is in the target market, then you are doing personal selling, right? So yes. all those concepts that we have been checking, we can include them in the in the conversation as well. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Israel and Mr. Gilberto. Good. Um, I'm just going to, before I stop uh, sharing the screen, I just want to uh, emphasize on the pronunciation of some of your words, the words that you have here. So Gilberto, please help me pronounce. Uh, okay, let's start with pepper, black pepper. 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 Black pepper. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because black if pepper. you say paper, it's going to be confused with paper. <laughs> right? This is paper. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> uh huh. Pepper. Yes, pepper. Okay, pepper. what else? This one cholesterol. 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 Yes, okay. cholesterol. Um, let's see another one here. This one gastric juices. Juices. G gastric juice. juices. Mm -hmm. Juices. And I think that's it. Okay, good. Let me stop sharing. And now we're going to have, um, okay, lady and um, and Rolando, right? Lady and Rolando. Okay. Hola. Good evening. <laughs> Hello. Hello, lady. How are you? Hi, Rolando. I am fine. I want to know if you go to the gym. I don't, but uh, I know the many friends who go. Great. Why? Is that I know a uh, protein? That is wonderful in terms of improving results in physical appearance. Can you tell me about it? Yes, of course. With pleasure. This protein includes 80 grams per serving and when you buy two bottles, we give you a third product. Really? Yes, you should tell your friends and start a fitness life. You will no regret. By the way, have the samples for you to taste and see the effects. You really will love. I really appreciate this is the motivation I needed to stay with my help be help lies i am glad to hear that we are still in communication okay see you soon okay very good you're a you're a good seller a good vendor um lady <laughs> do you sell Thank it? you do you sell that in real life <laughs> <laughs> Probably, I think you do. <laughs> I, I I love cell. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I love cell. Wow. <laughs> that's that's cool. I am really bad at selling. Let me tell you. Um, and uh, every time I get feedback from my from my. Well, from my 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 place, my my company, they tell me that uh, I need to improve my my selling skills. I mean, I don't sell directly, but uh, I have to kind of be more good at promoting things. So I like when people are good sellers because I need to learn how to sell. <laughs> okay, great. 
Let's give a clap to Lady. And I know Rodrigo uh, wanted to participate as well, right? So we miss you, Rodrigo. <laughs> but you're coming back soon. So good. And also, I know that you uh, helped Lady yesterday. You worked together. So great. Um, okay. Well, in this case, uh, just again to go back to our concepts that we checked yesterday. Uh, in this case, uh, the conversation between Lady and Rolando was um, illustrating the concept of personal selling, right? And also, uh, in this case, uh, we can say that Lady was playing the role of an agent, right? Because she was promoting this, this product. Okay. Good. Let's see who is next. Um, we have um, Julio. Julio and was it Mauricio? Yes, right? Julio and Mauricio. Yes. Okay. Okay, in this case, um, our product is the custom teacher. Uh -huh. uh, wow, you, you already have the, the product designed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the types of promotion identified in the in the conversation in the um brain brainstorm is uh sales promotion personal selling and internet marketing okay and we make a conversation uh, we begin with the okay uh, hey Mo, guess that guess what uh, we got something a special cooking up at our teacher studio. Oh, really? What's going on? Uh, we are offering a limited time opportunity to for personalized t-shirt crafted just for you. Imagine uh, wearing a t-shirt that uses uh, a piece of clothing, but a piece of art designed to reflect your style and personality and personality. That sounds wonderful. How does it work? It's simple. It's simple. Uh, you choose the teacher style and color, and we bring uh, your vision to life. We are not just creating teachers. We are creating memories. Every design is a collaboration between you and our skilled, a skilled uh, team, ensuring that this spice is as unique as you are. I love the I love the idea of having something one of a kind, but why now? Ah, uh, great question. Uh, for a limited time, and uh, we are offering a special discount on our custom shirt to celebrate the start of the holiday season. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing unique quality pies that stand out. A discount and a custom design. Count me, count me in. How do we get started? Also, uh, visit our website, explore the teacher options, and use the code Unique Style uh, 16 at check out, uh, check out to enjoy uh, 16 percent uh, discount on your order. Uh, let's turn your ideas into wearable art together. Sounds fantastic. I'll check it out tonight. Can't wait to see what we come up with. It's Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Great. Good. I have a question for Julio. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. the question that I'm going to ask? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> what is the question? Um, that um, um, I use ChatGPT. <laughs> a little. It's, it's, it's only an example uh, because uh, uh, I have um, a little business. Uh -huh. in little business. Um, I in my little company. Sorry, uh -huh. in my little company. A uh, and we made t-shirts. Um, okay. Using using another uh another um, uh, ah, se me escapó. Another method. And, okay. Uh, okay. I I work uh, making um promotional products um, okay. with the technique of sublimation. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. So you already know about the topic, let's say, right? Yeah, thank you. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, I like that you included the techniques that you were using, sales promotion, all well, the strategies, uh, personal selling, and internet marketing. Okay, great. Um, also, I like the pitch. I mean, a... Uh, I think it, it would be very useful for not a just for... Video. Hello? So, sorry, did uh, you say uh, a pitch? Did you the say pitch. a pitch? The pitch. Okay. The pitch is like the, the, the language you use for promoting something. Okay, it's in the... In the um, I know the, the pitch video to... To promote or to um, dar a conocer. Uh -huh. um, promote, product. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. No, what I'm saying is that this conversation can be very helpful, not just for this product, but for other products as well. Um, in terms of the way we, we express, like, for example, when we say, um, let me see, we are offering a limited time opportunity or oh, yeah. when you say, for example, we are creating memories um, or for example, in the when you are uh, proposing the discount for a limited time, we're offering a special discount. So, I mean, like, these kind yeah. of phrases are useful for like, when you're promoting anything, right? If you want to make it sound like it's, even if it is a t-shirt, like probably someone can say, but it's only a t-shirt, right? Yeah. But you make it sound like it's the most wonderful product in the world. So, and, uh-huh, go ahead. Yeah. In marketing, uh, we need to play with the uh, emotion of the people. Exactly, yes, that is something very key. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. Well, um, let's see now. We are missing, I think, one here. Danny and Jose Andres, right? Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, our product we choose is, is a bulletproof, <clears throat> bulletproof beef. And the type of promotion is a uh, sponsor. Okay. Um, what is uh, your idea? The sponsorship for the product Boyet Proof Beef, uh, Jose. Hello. 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 I'm sorry, this I have some issues with my internet. <laughs> No, but we can hear you. Don't worry. We we're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, from well, um, Danny, in our case, we can promote our product from different ways, but we select the sponsorship. From this way, we can we we can use like the different security agents. Well, I'm sorry for the different security companies. We can give some of our products. For they can use it for the different body wars and the different, for example, 
the different personnel or employees that they have and they can they can wear our product and the other companies can look at the product for it's possible that our pro or sellings increase because we have some we have some good things that our product is different from the other products. For example, it's not unhealthy for our kidneys. It is comfortable for you can wear. It's resistant for any knife or some kind of bullet, and it's not too heavy. So what do you think more, Danny? Uh, other idea, the bulletproof beef, is is a uh, we can benefit uh, for the increase the sell is the sponsorship and the public relation with the uh, government. Uh, is is the uh, customer potential customer and the increase the sell for the our product for the high quality for the the police and military and the company security and the government and the is is the direct channel for this the uh, manufacturing and and direct and the customer. Um, this is the opinion, the idea, the sponsorship. Yes, teacher. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see if I got it. So your strategy will be to promote your bulletproof vests to um, I, I, I heard government government uh, institutions or government branches, right? Um, and so they would, like you would give them your product, in this case, the bulletproof vest, you give it to them so they can use it. And uh, at the same time they use it, like they are promoting it, right? Yeah, it's like that, teacher. Teacher, I, I have a question. When we use, when we use a, a word, we can we is correct that we said that they we using or that they were wearing lab. Ah, mm, both both are are correct, but the most mm, common in terms of like when we are talking about clothes. Uh, well, because it's more specific about that. I mean, we are talking about clothes that you have on your body, right? So that's why wear is more, more appropriate, let's say. Mm -hmm. Use, use the verb use is very general. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay. okay, very good. A clap for everybody. I think um, we are ready to sell any product, right? In English. Do you think so? <laughs> because now you can talk about the benefits of your products in English. Uh, and also you, you know different strategies. I mean, you, you are familiar with the strategies, uh, the promotion strategies in English. Okay, great. Well, um, we're going to continue our second part of the class, let's say, with a um, material from the manual. Okay, we're going to work with, a, um, if you remember, I think that was Monday, right? That there was a conversation uh, where we saw again the word enough. Let me share it here. Okay. Here, this conversation. 
with Sofia, right? And we could see this phrase here, enough interest, okay? And in this case, we are using uh, the word enough, the adverb enough, plus, in this case, it's a noun, interest, okay? So let's check how we use it, like the grammar rule, let's say, of uh, this phrase, okay? So I'm, I'm um, showing you here the manual and um, the information, okay? How to use enough with nouns. And we have some examples here in the box and then we're gonna do the exercise, okay? So, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's see, Israel, can you help me read um, the definition here for enough? Enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, well, this is a refresh from the, from uh, the lesson that we had about enough and adjectives, we had the same definition, right? So this is only to remind ourselves about what is enough or what does it mean, what does it do, etc. So it's a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective, right? Meaning that it describes, right? It describes an adverb or an adjective. And we use it also before a noun, right? So all the examples we're going to see here, there are five. These five examples uh, have the word enough plus a noun, okay? So let's see the first uh, example. Um, let me check. Danny, read the first example, please. Okay, <clears throat> the company does not have enough information about the customer to understand their needs. Okay, very good. And notice that in this example, the sentence is negative, right? Does not have. So what do we do when it is negative? Well, we don't make any change. It doesn't matter if it is affirmative or negative. The, the order here of the expression enough plus noun is the same. Okay, let's check another example. The second one, um, let me see. A, um, um, Mauricio. Okay, teacher. Um, we decide designed enough promotions to create a short-term increase in sales. Okay, thank you. Now, um, I'm, I'm going to ask you to tell me, this is for everybody. Uh, okay, let's analyze together how the structure of the whole sentence goes, okay? Remember, we always start with, this would be, Okay, I'm using this example, the second one. And please look at the screen and check the word that I am highlighting right now. The subject. Very good, aha. Hello, Rodrigo. <laughs> now you're here. Okay, yes, we, okay, we start with the subject. Then we continue in this case with? The verb. The verb, aha. Uh -huh. And after the verb, we have the expression. Enough plus adjective or uh, adverb. Okay, in this case is enough plus noun, okay? Enough mm -hmm. plus noun. If it is an adjective, we use it the other way. We use adjective plus enough, okay? So in this case, we are using it with nouns. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we, we always use it this way, enough plus noun. Okay, I'm going to write a, the, the structure here just so we have it clear. Okay. 
Okay, so subject plus verb plus enough plus noun plus complement. Okay, I always like to do this, like remind us of the basic structure, well, the structure of the sentence, including the, the target structure that we are using at this moment that we are practicing, like in this case, enough plus noun, because we need to learn to, let's say, to identify or to locate how the new structure that we are checking fits into the, the sentence, right? Mm, so that's why we I always do this kind of exercise where we have the structure in like subject, verb, then enough, then the noun, and then the complement. So in this example, we start with we is the subject, designed is the verb, enough, the noun in this case is promotions, and then the complement to make the sentence complete is to create a short-term increase in sales. And if we look at the first example, the company, okay, in this case is negative, right? But we follow the same pattern, okay, the same order. We have subject, in this case, the subject is in this case, the subject is the company, right? The company. Then we have the verb. In this case, the verb is negative, has a negative um, structure, does not have. And then enough plus noun. In this case, the noun is information. Um, in the complement, right? About the customers to understand their needs. Okay, something important here, uh, in, like, because we already checked adjectives with enough, and now we are checking nouns. What is the difference between a noun and an, and an adjective? Does somebody remember or know? Okay, I guess not. So let me um, differentiate it here. I'm going to I'm going to use this space. So noun. What is a noun? A doer. A person. A thing. Place an animal. That um does or provokes an action. Por eso se le llama doer. Okay. So a noun is a doer. And in this case, we can say that it's a person. For example, when I say the students, or when I say Mauricio, when I say Rebecca, when I say Rolando, okay? Um, a thing could be, um, I don't know, the, the, the table, the bowl, um, or it could be, uh, in those cases, those examples are uh, objects, right? Uh, but also things are ideas like love, hatred, happiness, sadness, okay? Those are included in things. A place, um, San Salvador, El Salvador, etc. An animal, 
the cat, the dog, the chicken, right? Okay, so this is these are nouns. Now, um, adjectives. What are adjectives? Words that describe nouns. Okay, words that describe nouns. They express um, characteristics. Okay, for example, when I say um, this is a big house, big, big is the adjective. It, it is describing the house, right? The house is the noun, so big house. Um, or I can say I have a really great job. Okay, so I'm using great as an adjective to describe the noun job. Great job. Um, or when I say my loving family, my loving family. So loving is the adjective because it is describing the noun family, right? So just so we we are sure about the, the, the differences and how we're going to use these two um, types of words with enough, right? In this lesson, we're focusing on uh, nouns, the use of enough with nouns. And when we use it with nouns, the word enough goes first, right? As we can see in this structure. Okay, um, any question or is everything clear regarding how we use enough with nouns? And also my explanation between the, of the difference between noun and adjectives. Can you please raise your hand if everything is clear for you? Raise your hand if everything is clear. If you don't raise your hand, I will assume that something is not clear. Thank you, Danny. Okay, let me check. Lady, Jose Israel, Mauricio. Okay. Gilberto, Rodrigo. Okay, Jose Andres, great, good. Okay, so now that we have checked a, the structure, let's focus on the exercise, okay? So let me, let me go down here and show you the exercise. Okay, so what are we doing here? We need to complete the sentences using the information in parentheses and enough, okay? So I will give you some time for you to work on this um, exercise uh, individually, okay? So in your notebook, I, I, I hope, I guess you have a notebook, right? So in your notebook, uh, let's complete, okay? We need to... Um, if you notice, what you see in the parentheses is the verb and the noun, okay? We have the verb and the noun. Noun or nouns, because for example, in number two, there are two nouns, okay? So let's complete the sentences using these words in parentheses. Remember, you have the verb and you have a noun or two nouns, okay? So let's take, let me see, five minutes, okay? One minute per sentence. And then I'm going to be asking uh, some of you to share.
Okay, everyone, our time is over. Um, let's see. I will take volunteers this time. So who wants to do number one? Me, teacher. Great, thank you. Uh, for the first one is the marketing department has has enough hasn't uh, hasn't hasn't create enough interest. Okay, let me <clears throat> write it here. Hasn't create create enough, enough interest. Interest. Okay, very good. Anything uh, to correct in number one, everybody? Or is it correct for you? It's correct for me. It's correct. It's correct. Teacher, I thought that it was the marketing department hasn't enough interest. Well, because we, we have the verb, um, we need to include the verb, um, Israel. In this case, uh -huh. Create. Uh -huh. Now, I will say, yes, I need to correct something here. And it's the fact that because we are using the word, uh, the auxiliary hasn't, right? Uh, the verb needs to be conjugated accordingly. So in this case, it's present perfect, right? Hasn't created. So the only thing that we need to add here is the D, right? Because it is a regular verb. So... Only that department, the marketing department hasn't created enough interest. That's, that will be, okay. Are we okay, Israel? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, great. Okay, thank you, uh, Rodrigo. And now I think Mauricio wants to share for number two. Let's see who else is, has their hand raised. Aha, uh -huh. okay, Mauricio number two and Julio number three. Okay, teacher. Our product. Offer enough features and benefits. Okay, enough features and benefits. Okay. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh. so we have the verb offer and then features and benefits. Okay, yes. In this case, we don't need to conjugate the verb because there is no other auxiliary here that indicates that we need to conjugate it, right? So it is only simple present. So we just leave it, leave it as it is. Offer enough, uh -huh, the enough goes before the nouns. In this case, we have two nouns, features and benefits. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mauricio. And now number three, Julio. Number three. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, the place strategy demand in those channels of distribution. Okay, very good. The place strategy demand. Okay, can you repeat the verb, please? Okay. Uh, the place strategy demand in those channels of distribution. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Demand. Okay. Now, um, le everybody, let's look at the grammar here. What, what, what would we miss here? Are we missing something?
or everything is correct? In which one? The number three. Number three. The demands. The ah, okay. Right. Okay, Demand. lady. Mm -hmm. Right, because in this case we are this the subject is. Uh, this is. Is, the place uh, strategy. Uh -huh. the place, uh, okay, the place strategy, yeah. so it's singular, right? Okay, the man. Miss, Miss mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, lady? And the second and the platform is, um, aparece como incorrecta, escribiéndola así, y no entiendo por qué. Mm, uh -huh. this, this is the correct way um the the well if you notice there is one exercise that is giving us problems as well i have been asking for help but i haven't gotten any help yet tomorrow i think i'm going to talk directly with someone from tech support in order to check that detail because yes in this case that is the correct option there is no other option okay mm -hmm. unless maybe you want to put the verb in the past offered but there is no indication okay That's right mm -hmm. uh -huh. so. okay let's let's let me let me see if we can check that tomorrow with someone from tech support to okay mm -hmm. Okay, let's see um, the next one. Do we have somebody else? Four. Me, teacher. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, number four. Retailers will stock and know goods and sell them. Okay, we'll stock enough goods and sell them. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, this will be correct, right? Remember in this case, or notice that in this case, we have the auxiliar will, right? So it is for the future, but when you use the auxiliar will, what happens to the verb? Well, the verb stays in base form, right? So no change. Retails will work enough, sorry, will stock, enough enough goods and sell them okay the last one who wants to do the last one me teacher okay Gilbert. we lack enough information in the competition okay we lack enough mm -hmm information on the competition on the competition on, on the, the competition, competition. Mm -hmm. okay we lack enough information on the competition now are all those verbs clear to you or do you have any question about the meaning for example are we familiar with the word stock are we familiar with the word lack? No, teacher. And the lack. Ah, lack. Lack is mm, like saying we don't have. When you lack something, it's because you don't have it. Okay, so in other words, in this sen in this sentence, we are saying we don't have enough information on the competition. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's in synonym. They don't have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Okay. Great. Well, um, in order to practice this structure, okay, we're going to do a little exercise we're going to have another conversation using uh, this structure, okay? 
So give me one second here. I'm going to stop sharing. Teacher. Yes, Gilberto. Uh, I am Roberto. Ah, Roberto, sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I have a question when the first exercise, number one. Uh -huh. uh, why change the verb create? Ah, because we have the auxiliar hasn't. Remember that has? Well, in this, uh, because this is the auxiliar have, right? But it says has because it's third person. So that means that we need to add the verb. So we have hasn't in, in uh, negative, right? Plus the verb that makes it present perfect. And we uh, okay, okay, I get it. The uh the the exercise is in present perfect. Exactly. Ah, and okay. How can you tell that is present perfect? Because you have the auxiliar hasn't. Okay, the, the verb is, is in past participle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, so now I'm going to write here in the chat the task, okay, the task that we're going to um, create in order to, or develop, in order to practice this structure, okay? So let me, okay, create a conversation where you talk about the lack of products, where you talk about the lack of products or supplies in your company and what you do and what you do when that happens, okay? For example, Gilberto, who works with the spices, right? Um, I don't know, I, I think or I guess that maybe sometimes there are no, I don't know, for example, um, there is no garlic, okay? There is a lack of garlic in the country. So what do you do when there is no, there is a lack of garlic in the country, when you don't have enough garlic, okay? I'm using the, if you notice, I'm using the structure, right? Okay. Okay. Gilberto, I know that you work with the spices. For example, uh, what do you do when you don't have enough garlic? Okay, so this is only an example of how you could create the conversation, right? So I most of you have already shared what the product of your company is. For example, uh, Andres uh, is a service, right? Security. Um, Let's see, Rodrigo is raw materials for different types of, well, for construction, chemicals, etc. cetera. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, those are the ones I remember. <laughs> but if you don't have a product in your company or something, uh, you can invent, okay? But the idea is that you, Think of the scenario of having a product or you work in a company where there is a product and what happens when you don't have enough of that product, okay? So I don't know if the task is clear. Is the task clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So now we're gonna go back to work with a classmate. So let's see. Mm -mm. 
Let me see if there is somebody else here. Ah, um, Roberto, are you going to participate? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, great. Let me see. Here. Okay, so Roberto and Rodrigo are going to. Okay, so let's join the rooms, please. Creo. Ajá. No, me tocaba irme por el volcán y no, eh, tampoco era de Dios eso. <risa> ok. Ok, bien. Do este... you finally get home, Rodrigo? Eh, yes, teacher. I arrived around 8.45, quarter of nine. Wow. But I tell Roberto that... Today is terrific. Today, I don't, I don't have the words. Today, uh, right. because, yes. Today I left the office around uh, five fifteen. I usually uh, go left the five thirty, uh, but uh, the traffic collapsed in total. I uh, changed my uh, my travel to Nehapa. Nehapa. Uh, totally collapsed to accidents. Wow. Eh, eh, well, me, eh, mentally, mental, very, very tired right now. I know. Yeah, I understand. It has happened to me <laughs> several times. Yeah. Ahorita sí estoy sufriendo. O sea, la, la salida para mí ahorita súper bien porque ya no hay estudiante entonces me doy el lujo de salir bien tarde de la casa uh -huh. 30, 35 minutos pero uh -huh. el regreso yo creo que la gasolina está barata entonces no sé qué pasa en la tarde o sea, sale el triple de gente se colapsa totalmente yeah, I, yeah, I see y se va a poner peor por las fiestas navideñas oh yeah sí This sí. weekend is bueno, going to be crazy. Because... Me voy quebrando dos, dos podcasts, pues, por, ya por cada vez que regreso a la casa, porque. <laughs> well, the good thing is that you are listening to something interesting. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Something interesting. Okay, good. Well, I'll I'll let you guys start your conversation. I'm going to check on your other classmates, so I'll see you later.
como, es, como en la compañía tenemos suficiente demanda porque todo es alimento, ¿verdad? Ok. Teacher, a question. Ajá. So, we are going to use uh, the word enough to highlight our, our company. Mm, well, the idea is that you, uh -huh, like, for example, uh, the question I made uh, to Gilberto as an example uh, with the class, I said, um, what do you do, Gilberto, what What do you do when you don't have enough garlic, for example? Or what do you do when you don't have enough black pepper? Okay, so in this case, when I say when you don't have, I'm using, I mean, it's the same idea of lack, right? Or you can use the word lack as well. Like, what do you do when you lack enough black pepper so the idea is that we use that vocabulary the vocabulary of enough plus a noun and also that you lack this product and the strategies of course right because we're talking about demand in this case so for example if there is not if you lack enough garlic What do you do, Gilberto? What are the strategies that you implement to, let's say, supply the demand? Uh, in this case, the company uh, stock announced uh, the products anticipated. Uh, Ah, yeah. okay. So you can say, in this case, the company anticipates the demand, right? Yes. And it has enough product. Okay. Let's see what you have. The company buys enough. I did it. I did it. I did it wrong because the company buys enough garlic to distribute to distribute for two months. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I type yes. it wrong. Ah, okay. Yeah, but but it, the idea is okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so something like that, right? We talk about what we do and when we lack something, okay? Um, so I don't know if this is something that is in general, right? For every product, in this case, for the spices, There, there is a stock or there is a, the company stocks enough of all the spices, enough spices for two months. That is the, the strategy, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, in this case, this is a very short conversation because it's mostly about that, okay? Using enough, use with nouns, and then using a, um, probably in this case, we can do like an exchange, right? So you ask him, Israel, you ask Gilberto about his company, and then he can ask you about your company, okay? So yes. You can use two could, examples. Could, could you check, please, the second sentence I wrote? Mm -hmm. If it's good that the yes, let me see. The company buys garlic to have enough stock for two months. Mm -hmm. Two months. That's better. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Great. You can continue that way now. Gilberto can ask you about your product and company, and you can answer the same like with the strategy. Okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. okay.
No, the phone number. Phone number of supplier. Uh -huh. Supplier. Uh, the supply is, is uh, suminister. Yes, but I have the phone number of of a supplier from from Brazil. From Brazil. Es que la, la mayoría vienen de, de otros países, no creo. <ríe> de Rio de Janeiro. From Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro. From Brazil, from Rio de Janeiro. This, this place has enough bullets that can supply. Ahí sí, 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 eh, existe la palabra supply, va. Porque es eh, su, este, su, ¿cómo se llama? No, tendría que, no, 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 ahí no tendría. Aquí en, uh, de, has enough bullets that can este, proveer, sí, tendría que ser supply, proveer. Provide sería that can provide. Mm -hmm. You can use you can use supply also. Provide for ejército. Ya le ya le traigo. De cinco seis dos siete cinco siete cero siete cinco siete cero el mío es setenta y ocho setenta cero dos setenta y dos ahorita lo tengo okay setenta y ocho setenta setenta y ocho setenta cero dos siete dos cero dos siete dos sorry teacher cero chat GPT teacher cero <risa> no, muy fácil pero bueno. <risa> Okay. Okay, we're going back to the main room very soon because it's almost time for the class to finish, but I guess you're ready, right? Okay, teacher. Okay, everyone. Um, well, because of time, we're just going to have or listen to one of the conversations, okay? Uh, so I'm going to ask for a volunteer pair, okay? Who wants to participate this time?
Rodrigo, are you ready? Al mal paso, darle prisa. <laughs> okay, that was a surprise answer. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. Yes, I know that you know that I know. Well, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, Robert, let's do this. Uh, I will share my screen, teacher. Okay. Uh, can you confirm me, please? Yes, I see. Okay. Well, this is our dialogue with Robert, so I will begin. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Robert. How are you? Hope you're fine. See, I need your help in something. Hi, Rodrigo. I'm fine. What do you need? I want to know if the product import will be on time. Uh, you know, the, the ETA. I don't know. I have a problem because we have enough information about the ETA. Can you be much more specific about information? Of course. And the purchase department didn't send the information on time. And today I received an email of custom. Okay, well, that's a problem. We don't get it on time. Well, then we are going to await them. And yes, that's all. yes, Rodrigo. But I, I promise the, the next week, I uh, I send the I send the product and you receive um uh, next Monday. Okay, Robert. Try to push uh, very hard the purchase department to not have any delays, please. Yes, I understand. Thank for your attention, Rodrigo. Have a good well, night. Then. Thank you, Robert. The same. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, excellent. Hey, hey, hey. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, um good. I see you used a uh, well, the the right information. Now, I would just correct in this case a uh, um, when you use okay, when you say I have a problem because we lack enough, we don't need off, okay? Because um the the expression is enough plus noun so we just say we lack enough information we lack okay. enough information okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the rest is great okay uh, yes teacher this is, this is my daily bread every day in my job so <laughs> I, I have mastered this you already mastered it okay <laughs> great good well, um, let's see. Mm, I'm going to pass attendance. Thank you, Rodrigo and Roberto yeah. for sharing. And um, well, unfortunately I couldn't hear all of you, but I know that you were working on your conversation. If you have it ready for tomorrow, we can share it tomorrow at the beginning of the class, okay? So if you wrote something, save it, please, so you can share it tomorrow, okay? Um, let me get ready with the attendance. Okay, Danny Anthony, si buena aventura. Here, teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. Jose Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Late, sorry, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Eh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here teacher. María Leticia Realigeño González. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Uh, let's see. Not here today. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. 
Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Presente, Char. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. She was a listener today. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. She couldn't attend today. Okay, everybody. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.